in this last part, we're going to be making these particle streaks that you see here to add a little bit of extra flair to our shader tunnel. So this is the original, and this is what we have that we created in the last part. And now we're just going to go ahead and start off using Ultimate VFX and creating the particle system. So create a new particle system inside the game object that we created in the last part, and now we're going to set this to a circle shape emitter. Maybe rotate it like 90 degrees so that it flattens out. Set the radius thickness to zero and that'll make sure that it doesn't emit inside the volume of the circle, but only on the edge. You can make this 0.5. And let's set the speed to zero for now. And that way we have uh, the particles not actually flying around anywhere. We're going to set the particle to point additive with soft particle value of 1, like so, and then turn the start size way, way down. And also maybe turn the opacity down too so it doesn't, you know, burn our eyes or something. Okay, so we got the basics right there, like that. And we can start having them actually flying into space. So for that, we'll keep this here and actually, no, set this to world and have them emit up into the world. Like that. Maybe set this to 1 or 0.5. Maybe vary the start lifetime to from 2 to 5, like that. Maybe also vary the start size from 0, 01 to 0, 05 or something. Maybe 1 actually. Have two random colors blue and red, like so. Right, so we can do that. And then finally we need to actually start creating the streak. So for that, we'll enable trails and set the trail material to the solid additive shader or material from Ultimate VFX. And then we got the streaks going on. At this point, we can go ahead and actually disable the main renderer so that only the trails show. And then... We can make the width over the trail a curve that uh, gets smaller at the end of the at the end of the trail, and then is the biggest near the near the start. We can also change the color over the trail to fade it out, and let's see, maybe we can do the same with this as well. Yeah, something like that, maybe. That's good. We can also, the, for the width, we can have it, right now it just looks like a flat top, which doesn't look very good. So we can add a key like that, set this to clamp auto, and then move it up so it kind of looks more like an arrowhead. We can also turn up the particle count to like 25. And right now we see these weird this curviness on the edge, and we can fix that by, I think, setting the minimum vertex distance to zero so it smooths out. And yeah, that looks better. They're still kind of popping in and out, so for that, we can go size over, or not size over lifetime, sorry, the color over lifetime, which is over here, and then set both endpoints to zero, and then somewhere around here, around 15%, turn up the alpha, maybe like that. Maybe also go here, and that way it only fades out right at the end. Right, so we have that, and I think... That's about it. At this point, you can keep customizing it a little bit more. Let's say if you wanted to add, like, noise, right, create all sorts of strange alien patterns like that. But it's really up to you. All right, so I think that wraps up this tutorial. We've covered every part that we needed to, including this bonus part right here using Ultimate VFX. Uh, please do like this video, comment on it, let me know what you think, share it with your friends, let other people know how to create these cool effects. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.